I'm running a ChatGPT blogging experiment. I have posted 100 ChatGPT written blog posts to a new domain that I own. By the way, this domain is called Tech Blog. This week, the site is already getting up to five visitors per day from Bing search engine. But Google seems to have other plans. Basically, more than 50% of my web pages have dropped out of Google index and I'm getting no visitors from Google anymore. The last visit was like three weeks ago. So did Google just burn my blog for using ChatGPT to generate content? Will ChatGPT cause all blogs to crash? No. Here's what's really going on. If you've seen similar reports or even if you have similar experiences with your own AI-generated websites, stay tuned. I will explain to you what's probably going on and how to get those blog posts back to the Google results. So before explaining to you why Google has most likely decided to remove my blog posts from the search results, let's take a look at what's going on with the website in the first place. First of all, my website is less than two months old. I posted 100 blog posts using ChatGPT to it about six weeks ago. As I did this, Google decided to index those pages pretty quickly and they were already showing up in the search results after a couple of days of being alive. But then, all of a sudden, Google started to drop those pages out of the search results. The number of pages has since dropped from 70 to 25. Now there are only like 25 blog posts that are in the search results out of those 100 that I have written. And if I actually check the number of pages from Google directly, it seems that the number is even lower that is 14. Be it 25 or 14 posts, Google has decided to remove some of my blog posts from the search results for now. On the other hand, Bing is constantly bringing in more traffic to my website and has indexed most of my pages. But why does this happen? It might be tempting to say that it is the fact that Google hates ChatGPT and Bing loves ChatGPT because Bing has actually incorporated ChatGPT to their search engine as well. But fortunately, this is not the case here. As a matter of fact, it is way too early to draw any kinds of conclusions. Now let's take a look at those real reasons why the indexing of blog posts might happen and what you can do to get those posts back into Google. The reason number one, Google sandboxing. Basically, all new websites go through this initial phase of Google sandboxing where Google is testing things around and they are taking their time to build some initial trust to your website. Basically, the newer the website, the more unexpected things can happen to it. And by the way, this has nothing to do with ChatGPT. It has always been like this. I had a similar experience with one of my niche sites that were created way before the times of ChatGPT. The website had like 15 out of 30 blog posts in the Google index already. Then all of a sudden, during a couple of weeks, Google decided to de-index those pages one by one until I only had like three blog posts in the index. This lasted for a month or two, but then those blog posts came back to Google and started to rack up tons of impressions and hundreds of clicks. And those posts are doing super well these days. As a matter of fact, they are bringing in almost $1,000 every month. And by the way, I have even seen some older pages that have been on the Google index for a while to get the index. For example, here's a screenshot of one of my best performing blog posts in one of my other niche sites that was initially not doing that well and then it went completely out of Google index, but then all of a sudden it started to gain momentum and now it's doing super well. And because this post is in a really lucrative niche, it is bringing in about 20 to $40 in affiliate revenue every month which is significant considering the fact that it initially looked like this post is going to be out of Google index altogether. So to take home, if I had reacted to this de-indexing early, this post would have never done so good that it's doing right now. Number two, many people say it is ChatGPT. Given the fact that I used ChatGPT to write my blog posts to the new domain, it is tempting to say that this is what makes Google de-index those posts as they're realizing that it's written with ChatGPT, they're taking it out. But most likely, this is not the issue either. Google has even stated publicly that using AI is fine as long as the content is high quality 
and provides value and is actually useful to your audiences. So just the fact that a blog post is written with ChatGPT doesn't get it out of index. Three, a ton of blog posts in a short amount of time. Well, if it's not the AI that bothers Google, Perhaps it's my infrequent publishing schedule. After all, I posted 100 blog posts in two weeks and have been radio silent ever since. Sounds really fishy, right? But this is not the issue either. As long as the blog post content is relevant and useful, it is not going to be de-indexed because an infrequent publishing schedule. Google and other search engines care about value and usefulness and relevancy. As long as your blog posts provide the best possible solution to a particular problem, that's what Google and other search engines really care about. I have gone inactive for months with a relatively new website without having any kind of implications to my rankings or performance. For example, here is a six month period where I posted barely anything to my new niche site. The site kept on growing even though it's a seasonal niche and during this time you should see a downward trend in traffic. 4. Too early to say anything. All I'm trying to say here is that for a relatively new website that is generated with ChatGPT, it is way too early to draw any conclusions. Sometimes Google de-indexes those pages, sometimes they won't. It might take months to get those blog posts back to index. And for sure, they might never return. 5. The content is not unique. So now we're getting closer to what might be causing blog posts to getting removed from Google Index. The truth is that if the blog post content doesn't bring anything new to the table or add to the web, there is no reason for Google to show those blog posts in the search results. They are just eating up space, slowing down the Google indexing and search process. When you write blog posts with ChatGPT, ChatGPT generates content based on patterns and information it has seen on the internet. In this sense, it is not adding anything new to the table. And this is the real problem. Let's say you use ChatGPT to generate a blog post like how to lose weight. The blog post is 500 words in length and has generic advice on how to lose weight as quickly as possible. If you're doing this, you're essentially competing against hundreds of thousands of similar posts that might be written by professionals in the field. Thus, there is absolutely no way for you to rank high with that kind of a blog post. It might not even get indexed ever because Google can instantly tell that this information is already out there multiple times in different formats. So if you have a ChatGPT generated website, this is probably what's causing it not to rank or be indexed on Google. However, remember that it's way too early to say anything about the site. As a matter of fact, ChatGPT is not even that old. So even if you generated those blog posts right after the launch of ChatGPT, they might still not be indexed, but might be indexed in the future. But meanwhile, make sure that your content is actually useful and provides the best answer to the question on the entire internet. If your blog post is not the best solution to a problem, it is not going to rank high or even be indexed in the first place. And that's a wrap for this time. If you're interested in making your blog post rank high on search results, make sure to check my free blogging masterclass. In that masterclass, I teach you everything you need to know to start a successful blog this year. Nonetheless, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day.